Are you still managing inventory with spreadsheets? If so, there is a better way and I'm excited to share it with you here today. And the best part is you don't have to know code, you don't have to be a master of software in order for this to work for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to use a no code template using one of my favorite tools, Softer, to manage your inventory. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting. It's our mission to help you step into the future of technology and to get out of spreadsheets. We do that by helping you leverage the power of what's called no code software. Today in this video, as I already mentioned, we're gonna be using one of my favorite no code tools called Softer. First, a little bit of quick background about what Softer is. It is a drag and drop application builder, meaning that you can build your applications, your websites, your portals, your interfaces. You can build out your own applications, all drag and drop, and push that out to all the different users on your team or external. It's a really amazing tool and it requires no coding whatsoever. It does, on the other hand, require that you store your data somewhere. So you will need to use this in tandem with another tool. You can use it with Google Sheets. You can use it with Airtable. It integrates with a number of different tools on the back end. That's where your data is going to live. Softer is the front end component. It's how people will interact with the information. It allows you to control what they see, what they edit, and just how they navigate your overall application. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to be starting with a template. And I want to point out that if you're new to Softer, I encourage you to sign up for a free trial and you can get one month of their pro account paid for if you use our promo code. I'll include that wherever you found this video so that you can take advantage of those savings. Go ahead and get signed up there with the links that we provide. Now, once you're ready, go ahead and use the template. I will share this link as well that takes you right to this template. This is free to install, free to use, and we just go ahead and use this inventory management template. Now, the first component here is gonna be getting logged into Softer. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are logged in. Once we're logged in, we can go back to that screen and go ahead and say use template, and it's going to allow us to take the first step inside of opening up that template in our logged in workspace. Now we can scroll through, we can look at the different pieces of the template. Again, this is all for inventory management. We're gonna go through it step by step, but first we have to select the template inside of our account and it's gonna ask us where we wanna keep the data. So here's where we're going to link it up to the data source. Now we don't have to build the data source ourselves because this template allows us to just copy the data source. The whole back end database is gonna be copied for us into Airtable. So we can do that by adding a new data source here. And you see all the different options that are available to us as data sources for Softer. Now, in our case, this template only directly integrates with an Airtable one, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't have this data living in another solution in a different software and then integrate it to the front end component. But for ease of installing the template, we're going to select Airtable here and continue. And this is going to allow us to set up a brand new connection to Airtable where we can integrate it with a specific database or we can integrate it with all of the databases in our account. So that means really any database that we've built in Airtable, Softer will have permission to talk to. So now that we've integrated the tools and they're talking to each other, we can copy that backend database into Airtable. Airtable, if you're not familiar with it, is another no-code software. We use it a lot on this channel and it may look like a spreadsheet, but in fact, it is a database solution. It allows us to build some pretty amazing data schemas, link all of our data, you know, uh, do data validation, a lot of automation. It's a very powerful tool, but in this particular example, we're just going to be using it to store the data on the back end. It's simply there to act as the framework for what is going to be the dressing, the, the front end that we put together in Softer. So we choose where in Airtable we want this to live. We can put this in any of the, our different workspaces, which are essentially folders in an Airtable account. So I'm copying it to my Gap Consulting uh, workspace, and it's just adding that database. Not only is it gonna copy the database, it's also going to copy over all of the different uh, linked relationships between the tables, as well as start up with some sample data. So again, we're not even in software yet. We're not even touching the front end. Right now, we're still looking at the back end database. 
And remember, again, this is, of course, to manage inventory. So we see that we have users. We have a, two example users. Note that they have different roles. And this is important because the way Softer helps these users when they're logged into the application, they will have a different experience based on the role that they're assigned inside of our app. So it's very easily controlled. We've got James at example here. He's a manager uh, for sales. And then we've got Sid, who's an inventory manager. They will have completely different experiences when they are logged into the live application that we're soon to create. So this is where our users live. And this information is obviously integrated and shared with Softer so that Softer is going to check and make sure that they have permission to access our app. We do not need to add these people as users to Airtable only to softer and by putting them here in this table they will be brought into our database and they'll have access to our application now we also have products uh, this is of course the stuff that we're actually looking at we can see the prices of uh, what we sell it for what we purchase it for we've got images a lot of linked information here is what you're looking at this particular uh, relationship in Airtable is saying the product is connected to the sales order and connected to the purchase order. And the reason this is important is because as we put in new sales orders, as we put in new purchase orders, we're going to either add or deplete our inventory stock. And so all of these numbers are being calculated automatically in our application. So you can see right here, you know, we've purchased 750 copies, we have 610 available, and that's known because we've sold 140 copies. All of this is happening through calculations as we submit new records to the sales orders, the purchase orders, etc. So all of this data, again, on the back end has been immediately created for us just with the click of a few buttons because someone has already taken the time to put together the back end template that we can just copy over when we start to install this. Now, once we're done, we want to head back to softer. Once we've gone, gone through the back end setup, it's now time to build the front end application. And of course, know that the front end application is going to run completely off of the data that we've stored inside of Airtable. So presumably we'll have the ability to add new components to it. We can add new data and we can always go into Airtable and scrub out all the example data so and start fresh as new users. So this is just for demo purposes. We're now going to build the application. So back in software, we say go to application. And this is actually creating the front end components inside of our software account. So here we go. We can see at first glance that we have a welcome screen here on our application and you might get a little confused. You think this looks a little repetitive. There's a lot to unpack in software if you're brand new to the tool. The first thing to know is that these are blocks and each block can be set to be conditionally visible, meaning that in this particular case, if we click on this top block and we go to the visibility, we can see that it's been set up to only be shown to users who are inventory managers. Now, this block down here, the second block, has a different visibility. It is only available to the logged in users who are sales managers. So this is how we are able to cultivate unique experiences for the different types of users in our application. We set up these different blocks, we set up different pages in our app, and we set permissions for these different blocks and pages so that they're only visible to certain users at certain times. Pages are controlled here on the left-hand side. We can see all the different page types that we have. We have similar to the database backend, we're gonna have a lot of the same elements. We have the product details. We're gonna have the suppliers that we work with. We're gonna have sales orders. We're gonna have the purchase orders. And ultimately we're able to look and see how much inventory do we still have on hand. Now we can fully customize all of this, right? We can add new blocks. We can change the way that these blocks look. We can update the style, the background color, uh, completely change the different features that are featured here, where they go. We can update where they link to. But in this high level example, we're going to take this template out for a spin. This is a starting point for you. And the majority of the heavy lifting has already been done. My point here is only that you can come back in and make updates as you see fit to customize this, make it fit your brand, etc. Now, once we're happy with it, once you've done all your customization, go ahead and publish your application. In the upper right corner, hit publish. 
And you'll now that simply have a live published version of your application. Now, as of right now, that application is hosted on this subdomain that software has automatically granted for us. We can, if we so choose, update this domain. We can purchase a particular URL and direct this uh, software application to that domain. So you can put this wherever you want on the internet, provided that you own that URL. But for us, you know, again, for our simple example, we're going to use the subdomain that software's created for us and open it up. Bear in mind, this is a brand new live application that we have full control over on our back end. So when our users go to log in, they're going to see this. And of course, because this is a template, this is something you'll want to get rid of when you go live in your instance. But I can one click here to get access to the inventory manager or sales manager within the application. Also, people can come down here to enter their email and password. We also automatically have a lot of components like how to recover your password and all of these pieces. Now, the users, as I mentioned, are already stored in Airtable, but they're also stored in software. So if we click on users here, we're going to see the same two users that we had in our Airtable database, James and Sid. And you'll note that they're in different user groups, sales manager, inventory manager. That's all controlled by the Airtable data. Now, in order to access this application as one of these folks, in this case, let's look at it as James, the sales manager. I can also copy his magic link and just paste this in another window. And I'm now entering the application as James. I'm impersonating him so that I can see his exact you know, uh, scenario, what, what James will see when he's logged in. So on the left-hand side, we have dashboard suppliers, sales orders, and purchase orders. You can see here on the dashboard where I've defaulted to, we have the stock count. We can see how many copies are available. In this case, we can see that we've oversold quite a lot of stuff here, uh, but we can also see how many copies we've sold. And it looks like we can drill into this and on the side, open up that actual product. We can see what we sell it for, what we purchase it for. Uh, and then more details on both the sales orders and the purchase orders. So we can drill into all this data. Remember again, this information all lives in Airtable. At the end, when I'm actually ready to publish this and go live with my new template, I would actually scrub Airtable of all the pre-existing data and put in my own relevant company data. So over here, I can click into suppliers. Uh, this is going to be another table in Airtable. This is pulling data from our suppliers. We can drill in and see what the supplier information is all about. Again, opening that panel on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, take a look at the purchase orders we've made through that supplier. We can look at the sales orders, uh, see how the different orders have come in. We can create new orders. We can enter the customer email and, and then go through the different steps of creating the order. And then we can go into purchase orders as well and see all the different purchase orders we've made to bring in new inventory for our business. So it's that simple. We've just launched out a brand new template that we now have full control over. We own our data. We've done it all and escaped the spreadsheet trap by using no code tools. In this case, most specifically softer with a little help from Airtable. I know we went pretty fast in this video. If there are things that we covered that you didn't quite understand, I encourage you to reach out to us. We have a lot of valuable information on our website and some services if you can't get the answer you need. And of course, if you got value from this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us produce more content like this. Most importantly, my friends, keep on building.